Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL E6 which is titled Equations of Parallel and Perpendicular Lines. So with these problems you're going to get a series of equations of lines and they're going to get you to come up with another equation of a line for the other line mentioned in your problem. So let me take a clip here. And so if you remember from IXL E5 uh, that the slopes of two parallel lines are the same and the slopes of two perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals, then you are at a very advantageous spot here. Um, so what I tell my students is when you're reading these problems, there are three things you need to identify. So let's read the problem first. The equation of line P is Y equals 1 over 7X minus 8. Line Q is perpendicular to line P and passes through the point to negative 2, comma, negative 6. What is the equation of line Q? So the three things I tell them to isolate are the equation of our first line, so 1, the word parallel or to really use, and this is what we are really going to use uh, as a basis for our problem or for our solution. So M is going to be the slope as usual and B is going to be the y-intercept as usual. And once we find what M and B are, we are done. So first thing, do we know what M is yet? Well, yeah, we do. We know the slope of the first line is negative one over seven and that lines are perpendicular. So since the lines are perpendicular, that means the slope is going to be the opposite reciprocal of our slope here. So the opposite reciprocal of negative one over seven is just positive seven over one or just positive seven. So seven X plus B. And do we have our B yet? We do not. But what we can do is since we have our point, we can now plug in our point to our equation here and figure out what B is. So we'll plug in negative two for X and negative six for Y. So y is going to be negative 6 equals 7 times negative 2 plus b. Okay, so negative 6 equals 7 times negative 2 is negative 14 plus b. Now to get b by itself, we just add 14 to both sides. And we are left with eight equals b or b equals eight. Okay, and our last step here is we're gonna plug that in back to our equation that we were forming. And so that leaves us with y equals seven x plus eight. And that is gonna be our equation of the second line mentioned in the problem. So y equals seven x plus eight. All right. Next problem, the equation of line G can be written as Y equals negative one over five X plus two. Uh, line H, the other line includes the point negative six comma one and is parallel to G, what is the equation? Okay. So same deal as last time. We're gonna use our Y equals MX plus B. And let's identify those three elements that we need. So. We need the equation of our first line right here. We need the point, which is right here. that goes through the other line H. And then we need the fact that these lines are parallel. Okay, so let's figure out M and B and we will be done. So Y equals M. Do we know what the slope is? Well, the slope of our first equation is one over five and the lines are parallel, and therefore the slope is gonna be the same. So the slope is also gonna be negative one over five, and then x plus b. Do we know what b is yet? We do not. So we are now gonna plug in this point into the equation we have created. Negative six, of course, is gonna be x, and one is gonna be y. So we have one equals negative one over five, and then negative six plus b, cool. Then we're gonna do one equals negative one over five times negative six is positive six over five, you just multiply across, plus b. 
b. Okay, now to get b by itself, we're going to subtract to negative 6 over 5, both sides. So negative 6 minus 6 over 5 cancels out. 1 minus uh, 6 over 5 is going to be negative 1 over 5, and then equals b. So our slope intercept, or I'm sorry, our y intercept is negative 1 over 5, meaning we're going to plug it in here now. And our final equation is going to be y equals negative 1 over 5x minus 1 over 5. That's easy to remember. So we'll go back, we'll do y equals negative 1 over 5x minus 1 over 5. Very good. Okay, same type of problem here. They give us our equation, they give us our point, and they say it's perpendicular. All right, I'm going to skip. Okay, line S has an equation of this. Line T includes the point this in the parallel okay so sometimes they're going to give you a different form of the equation of a line so instead of giving you a y equals mx plus b um, equation they're going to give you something else in this case it's going to be point slope because we have the points there and then the slope um, do not let that worry you because all you need from your initial equation is the slope right if you can take away what the slope is from this equation then you're done so we're going to identify our three things, uh, the equation, the points, and then the fact they are parallel. And we are still going to use our y equals mx plus b. We're still going to do it. Okay. It doesn't tell us otherwise, so uh, it says, in fact, write the equation in slope-intercept form. So we want to write it in y equals mx plus b form. So uh, we'll find m and b, y equals m. Uh, M is the slope, and remember this is point-slope formula, which is y2 minus y1 equals M times x2 minus x1. Well, if you know that formula or that, uh, that's that form of the equation, and you look down here, you can see that one-third, one over three, is going to be our M, which is our slope. And we know that the lines are parallel, so they're going to be the same. The slopes are going to be the same, so that slope is also going to be one over three. And then x plus b. Okay, just like last time, we are then going to plug our point in. So we have 10 equals 1 over 3x. Oh, sorry. 1 over 3 times 6. And then plus b. So then we have 10 equals 1 over 3 times 6, or just 6 divided by 3 is 2 plus b. To get b by itself, we subtract 2 from both sides. 10 minus 2 is 8, which equals b. So b equals 8. So our last step is to plug that into here. So we have y equals 1 over 3x plus 8. And that is going to be our equation. So 1 over 3, y equals 1 over 3x plus 8. Great job. Good. Okay, same thing here. Equation, point, perpendicular. I'll skip it. Line V has the equation. Again, point slope. Don't let that worry you. You just need the slope from it. Parallel, pass through the point. Okay, easy. Okay, and I think that is generally it. Um, what you might encounter, and I don't know if I can pull one up real quick because this is randomized, um, but what you might encounter, I don't think I can. Okay, then I'll just make a verbal note of it real quick. Um, so what you might encounter later on, or maybe around this level, is instead of an equation, they're gonna give you uh, two points. So they'll say uh, line V goes through points 1, 2, and 3, 4 parallel to the other line, and then it also and then the other line passes through 10, negative 1. So don't let that freak you out either. Remember, the point of our initial equation, no matter what form it's in, 
is to get the slope. So if we had two points, like 1, 2, and 3, 4, can we find the slope from that? Yes, we can. We use uh, rise over run, or change in y over change in x, or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So you plug those two points in, you find the slope, and then you just plug it in to y equals mx plus b and move on from there, just like every other problem. So don't let that freak you out. Just remember your first step is to find the, your, uh, your new slope. And whether that's with an equation like this or with two points, it doesn't matter. You can find your slope either way. So that's where I will end the video. Take care, stay safe, study hard, and I will see you guys for the next IXL tutorial video. Goodbye.